Hello, I'm Beth Bowles with the Scamby County Extension, and during winter time, a lot of our plants are deciduous, so we do notice some interesting things in the garden. And especially during the holiday season, we're very familiar with one of our plants called mistletoe that we commonly use in holiday decorations and stories. But outside in the garden, mistletoe is not necessarily something we want to have in our plant. Behind us we have a river birch, which is a beautiful shade tree for us, but unfortunately the birds have spread the seeds of mistletoe and they started to grow on the river birch and they are a parasite, so they're actually pulling the nutrients and water from this plant. Mistletoe is an evergreen and what happens, it is a flowering plant that will produce seeds. The birds will actually pick up the seeds and either eat them and then as it goes through its digestive system they'll drop it on different plants and that seed is very very sticky. It will then actually grow into the wood of the plant and then draw the nutrients in water. So unfortunately, although it has a wonderful story for us at Christmas and people may use this in decorations in the home, it's not something we want to have in our garden. So we're gonna look a little bit closer at the structure of the mistletoe and actually how it invades limbs. When we look more closely at a piece of mistletoe taken from our elm tree, we can see many of the attachments of where it's actually grown into this branch. Mistletoe starts out with a seed that lands on the branch and it will first grow and produce its own food and then it grows a root called a hostoria that moves within to the branch itself, drawing food and nutrients away from the host. On this particular plant, we can see at the end here where it's actually had dieback from the result of all this green tissue pulling nutrients and water away from this elm tree. If we want to remove this mistletoe from this particular piece, we would actually have to move back at least six inches or a foot and cut off this whole portion of branch because within this stem there's quite an extensive root system and actually more suckers of stems that are growing out drawing away from this host. We've cut into the stem of the elm to show you how the mistletoe has grown with its root called the hostoria down into the tissue and is drawing the nutrients and water away from the plant which can ultimately cause decline or death of this tree. Okay, while trees are in their winter condition, it's a good time to look around your yard and see if you do have any mistletoe and then take corrective action. On some cases, you may need to hire a certified arborist to help prune some trees correctly. Uh, if you need more information on mistletoe or any other plants, call the Escambia County Extension Office or send us an email through our website.